everybody. It is July 29th, Tuesday, and uh, we're going to Kimberly Clark here in uh, Mobile, Alabama. We're going to pick up a load, take it to Texas, and it's kind of a neat way to get into this place. Kind of go under a, I guess you go underneath a bypass of some sort. I'm not sure if it's this bypass or a different bypass, but you kind of go underneath and that's how you get into this place. But uh, I'll film it, I drop off an empty and then pick up a loaded trailer. It says it's about 39,000 pounds. So it's not too, too heavy. It's on the heavy side, but it's not too heavy. So we'll be there in about 3.2 miles, it says. I've been here before. Last time I was here, I had a, uh, a mud flap missing off the trailer I picked up, and I had to go to a Loves to get it fixed, and it took like five hours to get it fixed because there's a, a line of trucks there. And then uh, that held up that load, so hopefully, I won't have the same problem again. Come on, Mr. Van, it's 65 through here. Let's go. In half a mile, take exit two on the right onto I-165 North Toward Bay Bridge Road. So hope everybody's having a good day, good night, whenever you're watching this video. And like always, uh, please hit the subscribe button and uh, make sure you hit the bell for all videos so you'll get uh, a uh, pop up on your phone or computer or tablet letting you know a new video has come out. Take the first exit on the right onto I 165 North. Speed limit reduced ahead. So, what we got to do Speed is we have to uh, check in Speed warning. Speed limit reduced to this place, ahead. this guard here, and then I got to move the tandems. So I can't have, I can't film while I'm at the guard gate, but what I'll do is I'll film as I pull up and then I'll check in, move tandems, and then we'll park the uh, empty and then pick up a new one, pick up the loaded trailer. there but they want to scare the cars and trucks because you got to go out just a tiny bit so I just came off a of home time uh, today's Tuesday so I got back yesterday not much to film yesterday so I didn't film anything yesterday. I know it's been a little while since I put a video out. Um, I did have a, uh, a hazmat situation. I'll put the pictures up. I don't think I have in a different video. I didn't get a chance to videotape anything, but I had something, uh, it was like 5 a.m. in the morning, hit my left fuel tank, and it uh, put a big hole in it after I just filled up my tanks, like about 25 minutes before that so something flew up under the truck it was like 5 5 15 in the morning so it was dark nobody was on the road and it was coming around and up uh, it was kind of a curve up a hill over a bridge so something just must have been in the road that my headlights didn't catch and it hit the uh, fuel tank and uh, long story short i had 100 gallons of fuel pour out of the tank onto the highway so what you do in that situation the mattresses that we have in these trucks they're designed to uh, catch fuel um, so I threw that underneath of it caught as much as I could and then uh, hazmat had to come out there and clean up the rest of the fuel leak then I had to get towed that was in Texas so I had to get towed uh, to a Freightliner dealership in Corpus Christi so I got a rental car through my company they sent me up to Nashville Tennessee about 1200 miles <clears throat> excuse me 
down the road and uh, to Nashville pick up a loaner truck and boy that thing was a piece of crap and uh, so I had to pick that up then go up to Kentucky and pick up a load and then bring it down to uh, Tampa Florida or Lakeland Florida so long story short that's the fun I had so this is kind of this uh, thing here you kind of drive underneath here it's kind of cool and then uh, Kimberly Clark is just over here to, just up here on the right hand side turn at the light so all right so here's my check in everybody and I will catch back up after I uh, check in at the gate here. Oh, I thought it was low. Well, it's kind of a light stop sign, but in any case. Is that going to go? I guess I'll go. All right, so this is where I'm going to move the tandems. Show them I'm empty in the back. Pick up my load. So I will be right back, everybody. Okay, so we are going to drop this empty now that we're checked in. And then we're going to pick up trailer number. She got confused there for a minute. She said 76622, but we don't have any 7 series. So she looked again. She's, yeah, she is. Uh, I actually said to her, it might be an 86. 622 and she said yep that's it so but we're gonna drop this one off back here in the back it's empty and then we'll pick up the loaded trailer and then we're not gonna make it to our Texas delivery just don't have all the hours because this morning it took four hours to get unloaded at the first place I was at so I really chewed up my time so go as far as we can I was hoping I was gonna make it to our Dallas Texas uh, um, yard but we're not gonna be able to so we'll go as far as we can park it for the night it's supposed to be an 8 a.m. delivery but that ain't happening so they don't give us a lot of room here to Get these trailers in not in the front here because we got our tandems all the way back so it makes it difficult so i'll go down here a little bit now oh, they're not there's a spot right here slide it right in here parking next to good old schneider here her down here and then look for a trailer had to get a new uh, pigtail I don't know if uh, any of my last videos I talked about it but there was a situation where I plug into trailers and it wasn't uh, the lights weren't uh, all working in the back. I always had to move the pins. It was happening like on half the trailers. So I finally decided, well, it got to the point with like nine out of 10 trailers. So I went to my sh shop and over the weekend when I was off, they said, well, we're really busy, but we'll try to get to it. We couldn't. So I threw a new one on myself. right here 
So, put a new one on, it's been working fine. See where our loaded trailer is. Usually straight up in front of me here, but let's see. Alright, she's disconnected. So she said. Eight six six two two. So it's probably up there, hopefully in the front. Cause usually I don't see them. Well, you know what? Oh, that's, there's one down there, but that doesn't look like it. I think it's an 09. Let's see the last couple numbers. So let's see. Eight. Oh, there it is. Right there. This is one of our new trailers too. I always like getting the new trailers. Well, sometimes. Believe it or not, sometimes the, the older trailers ride better with less problems. far but we'll get her in there I think it's up too high though so I've got to take a look because what you don't want is it too high and the kingpin won't oh that's way high see how high that is wow they're easy to crank down on the R up so it's a good thing Get them going though, it's gonna be a pain. Come on. There we go. It's a very slow speed, but. Usually they pop. I don't think she's popping. <clears throat> Some backwards? No. It's taking forever. He's slowly moving. be easier uh, it's supposed to be a little 
Lord, it's still tight. I think it's because of the way it's angled here. Yeah. Woo. They should have put it back here in a cement. Lights. Got a marker light. And we got brake lights, parking lights, license plate light. We got mud flaps, finally. Last one didn't. Got good tires on this side. Okay, looks like we're good. I'm gonna put some air in the tank here for the, move the tandems. Wow, it got me out of breath. 100 cranks there, 39,000 pounds of weight. So what you do here, you put some air in the tank back there so I can move the tandem and pins. That's good enough. So now, I did a previous video on this, but I'll show you all again. So you pull a pin here, or you pull a lever that releases the pins. Now the pins are in, if you see that, pins in. So now I can slide the trailer backwards on the tandems by keeping the trailer brake set. So it holds the back wheels so I can slide the trailer. Only on the tandem. So I keep the trailer brake set, but only release the tractor brakes. So now I'll go backwards. I have to go forward and pull some of the pins out. There we go. So knowing where the weight of this is, 39,000, I'm probably gonna go back almost to the front with the tandems. Let's see where we're at. So we got full tanks of fuel. Yep, I'm gonna leave them right there. See how they ride. We're gonna stop the, the loves up here to wear and see where we're at. I had 41,000 pounds coming up and I was good. Put the tandems right about where they're at now. But we'll see how it goes. Okay, so the click, I don't know if y'all heard that, but there's a click which tells me they locked into place. Now make sure the pins are in. Not a lot of guys check this, but if your pins aren't in, and you get on the highway, this whole tandem axle on the trailer could pull right out. Yep, pins out. Pins good there, yep, pins are out. And on these new trailers, they don't have a notch for it, so it just kind of rides. So we're good. So, Hope you enjoyed the video. Again, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell for future videos. And I will catch you guys on my next load, which is gonna be dropping this in uh, Texas. So y'all have a good night, good day, whatever time it is. And we'll talk to you soon. Take care, folks.